Hello and welcome to this chess endgame review of a rook pawn draw. Okay, in this position, it is black's turn to move here. So uh, think about this position. What would you do in this position with black? Uh, and you must be careful here uh, to choose the right move. How would you proceed? Uh, pause the video if you need more time. If not, I will uh, turn on the analysis here and the lines. All right. So, we see in this position that white is ahead with this extra pawn, rook pawn. And often rook pawns are a draw. Uh, but that is normally when a king... Can, a defending king can get in front of the rook pawn uh, or a uh, king that is winning gets trapped in front of his own rook pawn. Uh, but with these rooks on the board, uh, it may be a little bit different here. So uh, in this position... Black has to be careful. We see that he could check and chase the white king a little bit, but the important decision that Black must make is where to put his king. And he has to be careful. Uh, it looks like king to g7 is the move here. And we'll see why. If this king moved instead to, let's say, f7, uh, well, even before then, uh, if we go back if this king just stayed on this third rank or excuse me sixth rank here with a move uh, such as this well then we would have rook to g8 check here and if the king moved up to attack well then we would just have a8 here uh, the pawn promotes to a queen, and uh, after capture, white would be winning here. So that is one thing to avoid. But there's also another tricky uh, tactic here. So if the king realizes, well, I have to get up here to the seventh rank to prevent a check by the rook, but he moves to the wrong spot. Uh, let's say instead he goes to f7 here. So after this move, we have another tricky tactic where the rook moves all the way here to h8. And if the pawn capture, or excuse me, if the rook captures the pawn, then we have a check here. And after the king moves, white would be winning again. So these are two things to definitely avoid in this position. So if we go back to the beginning. So now we see black has to be careful of checks on the eighth rank up here. And he has to be careful of uh, moving into the middle and being attacked from this H file. So that will show you that the move to hold the game uh, other than checks because after a few checks the king will have to move anyway so if that is done immediately with king to g7 that prevents the rook from checking up here or swinging off to the h file and uh, picking off this rook after it has captured the pawn so now the game will continue uh, with the king moving towards uh, this pawn to help protect it. But the game will be a draw, as we'll find out here. And all black has to do is just move back and forth here uh, on g7 and h7 to prevent any rook surprises. And... Uh, if the king moves over, the white king, to this pawn, the king can move back and forth until they make contact here. So 
if we go back here there are still options but as soon as contact is made the rook must check here so check and now if the king moves uh, we can have another check or just move back and protect this pawn here or keep an eye on this pawn excuse me so checking uh, if the king comes down after the rook the rook can move away uh, but just stay on this a file here keeping an eye on this pawn and the game would lead to a draw now in this position it is a rook pawn but i'll do a quick demonstration here to show you uh, that it doesn't just have to be a rook pawn so here's the same position but the pawn is moved over here uh, to b7 so once again black moves his king up to g7 to prevent any surprises on the eighth rank or the rook from swinging over to h8 and if the rook captures the pawn then rook to h7 uh, recapturing after the king moves so to avoid all that which we just saw earlier uh, once again the king just moves towards the pawn and once they make contact uh, just check that king and then you can keep checking here and if the king comes down after the rook just move further away uh, but just stay in line with this pawn ready to capture if the rook moves and white can make no progress all right well i hope you enjoyed that uh little uh chess end game there of a rook pawn draw and also uh, you've seen that it doesn't have to be a rook pawn in this position as long as the defending rook can stay behind this pawn and uh, keep pressure on it and the king must stay here on g7 and h7 to prevent any tricks on the eighth rank or especially uh, that little maneuver where the rook swings over here and then if you capture the rook can swing down to h7 with check and as the king moves away there would be a recapture okay well i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please like and subscribe uh, feel free to check out my nick butts chess channel for more videos that you can enjoy and feel free to leave comments or suggestions thank you everyone and have a great day